every so often, I have a dream, a recurring dream, where I stand before you to preach, and I have no notes. Today, that dream could come true, except that we have a special guest with us today. Principal, educator, pastor, Erin Miller is here from Asheville, North Carolina. She's lived there about 20 years. She is the principal of the Asheville Pisgah Christian School. She is formerly a member of the pastoral staff of the Foster Church there in Asheville. And she is here to present a message to us this morning, and I trust that you will give her the attention that you are to give to me, and that you will welcome her. But she's just not here to preach. She has come for a very special occasion. She has been invited by us, but also by the Peters family. We're bringing their son, Samuel, to be dedicated to Jesus today. Amen. And it is exciting for Aaron to be here. It is exciting for the Peters to be here and their extended family. So I'm going to invite Aaron to come forward, and I'm going to pass off the microphone to her. She has her own, of course. I have notes, too. And she has <laughs> notes. There's I have that nightmare, too. <laughs> It has been such a joy in my life to watch this family grow up from two teenagers to young married couple to family, beautiful family. And I've known them for a long time, but you guys get to be with them every week, and you're really the ones getting to watch these two grow up. How are you? I got to be reacquainted with Samuel last night and with Abigail and to see him as a little boy instead of a baby and he is an incredibly welcoming child. You probably know that. He kept saying to me, hi, hi, welcoming me in and good hugs and fun hearing about the kind of boy he's becoming. We're going to talk today about identity and he already has this great identity, he's such a boy. And he's a snuggler, and he loves his family, his extended family. He's so excited that they're here. And these are all things, this friendliness, this outgoingness, this lovingness, that we're so excited to see him in him already and know that this is part of who he's going to grow up to be. One of our dreams for him, all of us, is that he grows up to be a healthy, successful, well-loved person. And as Christians, we have an even bigger dream for him, all of us, that he will find Christ as the center of his life and that he will grow up to be a healthy, happy Christian. Amen. He's too young to make that decision for himself right now, but he's not too young to be noticed by God and by his church family. And God is as in love with him, way more in love with him than we can even imagine in his family. Now these three have a huge responsibility as Samuel's growing up, and that is to reflect and to teach him who Jesus is. And that's a big responsibility, isn't it? Teach Samuel about Jesus. And so really we're dedicating these three today as they're pledging to do that in Samuel's life and to help grow him up as a Christian. So we've got a question for the three of you. First of all, Jennifer and Jonathan. We want you to raise Samuel in a home where Jesus' love is an everyday reality. Will you, with God's strength, nurture Samuel's spiritual growth and his love for Jesus? Will you help your mom and dad teach Samuel about who Jesus is? Yes. Oh, he's such a lucky boy to be in this home. Now, a question for all of you, because this is Samuel's church family. And so you are going to be where he sees how Christians act outside of his family. That's a big responsibility for you, too. And these three are lucky that they are so supported in this job that they have. I'd like to invite Samuel's extended family to stand up. You've got grandparents here and aunts and uncles. Yes. Thank you for your role. For your role in supporting Jennifer and Jonathan and Abigail as they teach Samuel about Jesus. The rest of you, would you stand up? His church family. 
friends and family of Samuel, will you support Jennifer and Jonathan and Abigail as they raise Samuel to know and to love Jesus? Yes. yes. Aww. Let's pray for him. God, we love that you asked us to bring little children to you. And you know our dream is for Samuel to have an entire life journey with you. And as we watch him grow up, we just ask this prayer of dedication that you bless this family, that you give Jennifer and Jonathan wisdom and patience and a non-ending joy of your love for them as they transmit that to Samuel. We thank you for their um, desire to be your children and to raise their children to know and love you. And we ask your blessing upon this family and right now we dedicate Samuel to you. Amen. Amen. Good boy. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, you guys are going to have fun watching him grow up. <laughs> 